Hi there! Once we know how to size a single pipe, sizing a branched system is pretty straightforward. Imagine we have this simple fork scheme on a hillside. To keep it tidy and simple, we're going to do away with the topographic profile by assuming a constant slope. Elevations are in pink, lengths are in purple, and demands are in white. There are three stretches of pipe we'll call A, B, and C. Pipe A has to carry the combined flow of B and C, that is 20 liters per second. And that's all there is to it. Upstream pipes are sized for the combined flow of all the downstream pipes connected to them. So let's crunch the numbers for this particular system. We start sizing the upstream pipes. Step 1 is to find the maximum head loss for the stretch of pipe. Elevation difference minus 10 meters of safety margin over 2 kilometers. We need values lesser than 4 meters per kilometer. Step 2 is to browse the head loss charts for our material of choice, HDPE, and PN10, since the maximum pressure in the system is well below 10 bar. For 20 liters per second, a 160 millimeter pipe produces 10 meters per kilometer, too high. The next size up is 200 millimeters. 3.5 meters per kilometer is below our maximum 4, and we'll use this diameter. In step 3, we calculate the head at the end of the pipe. We started with 45 meters, and we lost 3.5 meters per kilometer. Step 4, we calculate the pressure, the head minus the elevation. We repeat this process for the other two pipes. The starting point is now 38 meters, the head we calculated at the fork. We need head loss values below 6.4 meters per kilometer. This time, the flow to enter width in the charts is 5 liters per second. A 110 millimeter pipe gives 5 meters per kilometer. The head at the end point is the head at the start minus the losses. The pressure is above 10 meters, which is enough for ground level use. Pipe C repeats the process. We need to find head loss values below 8 meters per kilometer for 15 liters per second. The closest value is for a 160 millimeter pipe. We then find head and pressure values. As you can see, this process is repeated for individual pipes starting at the top and going downward, with each pipe getting the starting head from the previous pipe and the aggregated flows from all those below. In the next videos I will only introduce the concepts, but you have lots of exercises in this book. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.